Russian armored vehicles are rapidly being destroyed by Ukraine's US-made M2s. In heavy battles that lasted for two years and four months, the Russian army lost up to 4,000 armored vehicles and infantry fighting vehicles carrying manpower. Both types of armored vehicles are used to transport manpower to the battlefield. Forbes magazine cites the Dutch military analysis site Oryx and writes that this means the destruction of 150 Russian armored military vehicles per month on average. Since Russia started a full-scale war in February 2022, a total of about a thousand armored combat vehicles of Ukraine have been disabled. Last month, Russia's losses increased sharply. Analyst Andrew Perpetua says Russia lost 288 armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles last month. This is only what we can see and count, he stressed. What happened is obvious. One of the bloodiest parts of the 1,000 and 26-kilometer front line is the city of Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine. Around the ruins of this city, the Ukrainians put better cars on the battlefield and the Russians worse. As the two collide, the Russians take heavy casualties. Two videos shared on social media in the past month graphically illustrate the imbalance with armored vehicles. In both cases, Ukraine's American-made M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle destroys Russian armored personnel carriers. Dozens of Russian soldiers are likely to die in these two clashes. In the first battle before May the 2nd, one of the old Russian MT-LB armored tractors speeds towards Ukrainian lines west of Avdiivka carrying explosive drones. There are six-foot soldiers on it. He is greeted by a 1990s vintage M2 combat vehicle given to Ukraine by the United States. Designed as a support vehicle with thin armor and few heavy weapons, the 13-ton MTLB was never intended to transport manpower directly to the battlefield. However, having lost thousands of BMPs by this time, the Russians had no choice but to use armored tractors as armored vehicles to transport infantry. M2 is designed for direct combat. This 34-ton vehicle has an accurate and rapid 25mm autocannon and effective armor to protect passengers and crew. In the video, three M2 crew members spot the MTLB and open fire. Russian infantry dislodge their MTLBs and Bradley's 25mm cannons destroy this tractor. M2 Bradley demonstrates how this work is done. The words of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. About a month later, another similar incident occurs. Two Russian BTR-82 wheeled armored personnel carriers move towards the Ukrainian line around Avdiivka. Dozens of soldiers took shelter in the anti-drone cages of the transporter. The 15-ton BTR-82 is newer than the MTLB and is better equipped with weapons, but it is equally weaker in direct combat with the M2 Ukrainian drone reveals APCs. M2 moves to a favorable position for setting up an ambush while the Russian vehicle moves to an open area without protection. M2 selects a favorable position for setting up an ambush and opens fire.